Hi, I'm back again. I'm so glad that you're watching my video today, my wonderful subscribers. And I wanted to let you know, catch you up on what I've been up to. Since you're watching, you might be interested in me. I got to see a new therapist today, and her name is Michelle. And I, I trust her. <clears throat> I feel pretty good about about um, opening up to her. And she talked to something about um, therapy with rapid eye movements. But I've been, um, my eyes are tired. Um, I just had the two cataract surgeries recently. I needed to chant for this eye right here because, um, because I do. It's just a little redder. And I went to the eye doctor today and he prescribed me some, the guy that did my cataract surgery, and he prescribed me some drops to put in there. So... I'm going to put the drops in there and then I'm going to chant about it and drink the water from the altar that I put on the altar every day. <laughs> I know a lot of you that, or some of you maybe that are watching my videos don't know about my practice of Buddhism and how exactly it is, but we make offerings to the Gohon Zone, which is a uh, our object of worship, which is a scroll, which depicts the Buddha nature, our enlightened life. So we actually are devoting our life to the mystic law that is within our life. And nam myoho renge kyo is our enlightened Buddha nature. And we are nam myoho renge kyo. It's the manifestation of the mystic law in the personal form of a human being. And, um, that's what I want to talk to people about because I feel like that's the most healing thing in my life. Buddhism explains that there are 10 worlds, not, you know, China and Japan or Australia or anything like that or out of this world or anything like that. But all of these worlds are within us and they're from hell to Buddhahood or enlightenment. Hell It's the lowest world. You're paralyzed there. You can't move. You can't take action. You're just suffering, suffering, suffering. Continued cycle of suffering. The next one is hell, hunger, where you can never be satisfied. Greed is the world of hunger. Hell, hunger, Anger, animality, or dog eat dog. These are human life conditions. Those are lower life conditions. Tranquility is quite lovely, isn't it? That's a life condition. Rather fragile. We don't be tranquil for very long before something in the environment disturbs us and we descend to one of the lower life conditions. Or perhaps we attain rapture, which is like, wow, he kissed me, or I got the job, or, you know, something rapturous, wonderful. Heaven in Buddhism, which is rapture, is similar, I think, to the, the heaven in Christianity, but that is not the highest world. It is still determined outside of oneself. and can be quashed by others outside of ourself, Sim similarly to the other lower worlds. Heaven is not the highest world. Those are still the soap opera ones that we keep going around and around in a circle. The soap opera worlds, the lower six worlds, the higher worlds take effort on our part. They're learning have you ever been so enhanced and engrossed and in love with learning? That's a wonderful world to be in. And then there's self-attained realization like art, music, aha moments in life. Watching a sunset. Realizing how wonderful life is and being able to show that to other people in a creative way of your own, that's self-attained realization. The highest two worlds, though, 
are based on comp concern and compassion for others, and that is bodhisattva. To live a life of, of trying to benefit other people. And then the highest world is Buddhahood. All of these worlds are contained within one another. So that even in the world of hell, I can chant nam myoho renge kyo And at that moment, I've attained enlightenment. I've experienced this. And anyway, I wanted to tell you about my day today. It was a wonderful day. I came back from, from having gone up north to take care of some medical things and, and drove down. And as I was driving, I made some realizations about some great benefits that I've received. I'm having memories, and some of them are very sad memories. And then I see how I can change those things in my life to benefit how I see relationships among people, and, and I see hope. I met a young man who gave me a lot of hope. I, I just know, I mean, I felt like it was looking to my own son's eyes, my son that is, is deceased, Leon. I, I couldn't take my eyes off this boy's eyes. He was such a beautiful child, and he was also he was six foot four tall, like Lee, and he was there with his father, who was probably about 53 years old, who is how old Lee would be if if he had lived. But the boy, oh, those eyes. And I was able to give them the gohonzo, and I was able to teach them to chant nam myoho renge kyo. And for some odd reason, I told the father about, well, it wasn't such an odd reason, because there I'm looking at this, this incredible young man. He didn't remind me of Leon. He was just so bright and so so wonderful and so lovely and he had this great father and I was so happy for them and I wanted more than anything else to see them again and I left them with a Namiho Rengekyo card several his father wanted several because he, he was into yoga and I asked the young man I asked Cole I said Cole if you like this will you please teach your mother and I said to the father, James, I said, James, if you like this, will you please teach your son? And so that I hope, and my prayer is that I will see that family in the soon future at the Salt Lake Buddhist Center. And it just made me feel full of hope for the future, even though my hopes had been dashed when my son was murdered in 1985 at the age of 16 years, five months, and one day. But I am picking myself up, and I'm going to live my life for the sake of the future. And I'm going to practice Buddhism with my whole heart. And between yesterday and today, I planted 19 seeds. I taught 19 people how to chant. I have these lovely little cards that I got from the SGI Center in, in California, the bookstore. Nam myoho renge kyo. And I try to give them to every person that I meet. I, I want that reputation. I want the reputation of a votary of the Lotus Sutra. I want to make sense of my life. And I want to celebrate life. And I want to, yeah, be happy together with you. For the sake of Kosen Rufu, for the sake of peace of all mankind. And that's what I'm doing today. And thank you for coming back to my channel. I hope to see you again soon and share some more of my learning about myself. I, I am going to go to therapy. I'm going to do that eyeball thing. I don't know. My eyes get tired, but it's rapid eye movement. It's something where... You reprogram yourself, and maybe there'll be electrodes. I don't know. Bzz, bzz, bzz. You go through the memories, and they, I don't know, you deactivate them so they're not so painful. But you do have to remember them first, and <laughs> that's really painful. So, but I'm having good memories, too. I'm remembering good things about my family and my kids and my, yeah, my family. Thank you.
Have a great evening and let's chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo together. Thank you. <laughs>